In this video, I'll show you what to do in case your iPhone 16, 16 Pro and Pro Max are stuck in SOS mode. SOS mode means that when you look over here on the top, you see it's written SOS. What does it mean? Well, it's, it means that your phone has troubles connecting to your phone carrier, AT&T, whatever you're using. Sometimes it's not your fault, it's not the iPhone fault, it's simply the fault of the carrier that has problems. And if this is the case, well, I suggest you check the internet, maybe there's, um, there's something happening around you that their towers are not working and your phone cannot receive any uh, network. If this is not the case, I'll show you multiple solutions. The easiest one is to simply restart your phone. And how do you do this on the iPhone 16? Is you press once on volume up, once on volume down, and you keep holding this power button. Okay, let me demonstrate. Volume up, volume down, and I keep press this power button. Even if there's something on the screen, I'm not touching it. I'm just holding the power button. This is it. Until the screen goes dark then I can release the button. Now we need to wake up the iPhone, keep press the power button again to wake it up until you see the Apple logo. And now you just have to wait until the phone wakes up and hopefully you won't have this SOS problem when it wakes up. If you're still having issues with your iPhone, okay, it could be because of the SIM card. This one is not a US model, so it has actually a SIM card tray over here. Open the SIM card using a small needle, the SIM card eject tool. Take the SIM card out and make sure, whoops, it's very small. Make sure that this side over here is clean, okay? So maybe rub it with a microfiber, make sure there's nothing. And sometimes there's also dust and debris getting inside of your iPhone. Blow inside just to make sure that there's absolutely no dust, nothing blocking. Then put back the SIM card in the holder. Make sure you do it the proper way. Okay. Insert everything back. And hopefully the SOS will disappear after a few seconds or a minute or two. Okay. Another method on how to fix this issue. If let's say you even had an eSIM, not even a physical SIM card is to drag down oops, not here, drag down from the right corner until you see control center. You see there's airplane mode. I suggest you tap on it multiple times. I know it sounds a bit weird, but believe me, by tapping on airplane mode, uh, airplane mode on and off multiple times, this can solve the issue. It will just force your iPhone to research for your network and connect to it. Okay, so do this during like 30 seconds and then leave it on and hopefully once airplane mode is um, deactivated like that it will search for a network and it will connect to yours and you won't see the sos uh, warning if this didn't work okay another solution is to go into the settings then you need to go in general then you need to go down in this menu all the way down until you see over here, transfer or reset for iPhone, then reset. And now you're gonna select reset network settings only. This does not involve losing any pictures, any personal data. It will only reset your Wi-Fi and everything that has to do with your phone carrier. So reset, restart, reset network settings. It will ask you for the passcode of the iPhone reset the network settings, wait. The phone will reset and restart by itself. Do not touch anything at this point. Just leave your phone alone. Okay, the Apple logo is here. And hopefully after doing this, your phone will work and you won't have the SOS logo on top. One thing that you can try doing, by the way, if you're not sure if it's your SIM card that makes this error appear, is to ask a friend or a family member to give their SIM card just a few seconds to test it out in your iPhone. So take your SIM card out, take another SIM card that, you know, works on their phone, put it in 
and if it still gives you an SOS error message, it means it's your phone the problem since that SIM card is working perfectly on another phone. You can also do the contrary, which is take out your SIM card and put it in another phone. If the other phone is actually working, well, you know that the problem is coming from here. If the other phone still is not able to connect to any carrier network, it means that your iPhone is not broken, nothing is bad about it, it's a carrier problem. So you need to check with them to see what's the trouble. One last trick that some people found useful on how to fix this issue is to go again into settings, then go down, general, go down, select date and time, and make sure that it's set automatically. When the date and time are not set automatically, sometimes it can cause many issues, including not getting your network. I don't know why, but it's something about syncing, uh, making sure that the date and time of the iPhone is the same as the one of the network. And if uh, it's not the same, well, you can have any uh, some issues. So thanks for watching. If you have any other solutions on how to fix this issue with your iPhone 16, please write a comment down below. Or if one of these solutions worked, I want to know. So write a comment too, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.